Hello everyone and welcome to yet another Silent Hill game. I think it's about time I continue the Silent Hill series since the last one I played was Silent Hill 4 The Room and that was back in 2015. It's 2017 now and I want to kickstart it with Silent Hill Homecoming. Unfortunately what many people consider to be the sort of downfall of the Silent Hill series. There were many people that disliked Silent Hill 4, uh, but at least that had the excuse of being a different game before it was incorporated into the, the Silent Hill universe. This one was always destined to be a Silent Hill game and uh, it the gameplay, uh, possibly the rather shitty PC port, turned a lot of people off uh, of the series and uh, I don't think it ever quite reached the heights of 1, 2, 3 and, and 4 again, unfortunately. Um, I've, I've played this before a little bit. Uh, back when it came out in 2008, nearly a decade ago now, uh, I think I played the first half an hour or an hour or something like that. Enough to know that it wasn't really for me and that the PC port was a pile of shit. It probably still is, honestly. Uh, but you know what? You know, I've done one, two, three, four. I've done a couple of mods and stuff like that. I want to persevere through the Silent Hill series and play every single one of them if possible. So, uh, yeah, this is sort of next on the list. So, I'm not expecting this to be as good as one, two, three, or four. But, uh, I think maybe I judged this unfairly back in 2008. So, I want to see what Silent Hill Homecoming has got to offer. Hope you enjoy it. Here we go. Okay, um, normal or hard? It is tempting, but I am going to stick with normal, I think. Okay, and... Uh, I don't know, that, that's actually fine, just as it is, I think, really. Okay. Yes, dodge button. <laughs> There's a couple of words I didn't think would ever be in a Silent Hill game. Now, I think I've seen that knife before. Oh, here we go. Okay, we're in. And hopefully we're out. Yeah, um, the Red Pyramid. Pyramid Head making an appearance already. I think there's a lot of things that sort of struck me as very odd about this, especially in the first hour or so, that sort of turned me off the game initially. But, you know, I'm going to give it a second try. Oh, I think that's F. It is F. Fantastic, right. If I wasn't fast enough there, would he have come in and, like, stabbed me with his giant knife or something? Hmm, cool. Um, okay, I think I know the controls pretty well. I... yep, there we go. Space is dodge. We can go in all different directions. Yeah, Silent Hill having dodge. Yeah, something I just didn't think would ever happen. The gameplay is, is wildly different to 1, 2, and 3. There's no tank controls. I guess it controls much like uh, Silent Hill 4 The Room, but with added extras. Um, yeah. Right. Was it... Okay, Q is the inventory. E is my weapons, I think. Right, okay, it's not M, it's actually tab for the map and objectives and, and zoom, whatever that is, but I, I don't have any maps right now, so... Uh, okay. Right, so let's see, the lock's broken. I guess I've got to go through here, haven't I? Oh, lovely. Where did he go? Dragged off into there. Uh, let's see. Can we follow him? Apparently so. Right, let's see. Have we got anything here? No, 
couple of pieces of paper, but I can't examine them. What seems to be like a antiquated hyperbaric chamber or something over there. Uh, yeah, let's go. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, if you double click, you can sort of go through them. Uh, hang on. <laughs> What's going on? Josh. Josh, is that you? Uh, Alex. <laughs> right, yeah, that's my name. Alex Shepard, right? Gates, locks, maybe the keypad controls it. Yeah, let's take a look. Investigate, okay. It's a six-digit code? Okay, well, uh, I guess there's like a million combinations. I uh, don't think I'll be guessing this one. What's back? It'd be nice if it came up with the button prompt and everything, rather than the symbol. Uh, escape seems to work, I guess that'll do. Right, okay. Um, yeah, there's something over here, wasn't there? That's right. Missing patient bulletin. Room 205. Patient went missing. Last seen in the... De what? Oh, that's nice that the, the, the voice subtitles interrupt the fucking notes. That's really great. Uh, last seen in the day room after a confrontation with another. I can already feel that I'm approaching this with a, a certain element of, of, like, venom and cynicism. I don't want that to happen, though. I'm going to give this a, an honest try. Uh, the rest of the message is blurred and illegible, apparently. Okay. Right. Through here? We're going to follow the blood? No, we're not. No, the lock's broken. I can't open it. That's definitely the mark of the Silent Hill game. Broken locks. Absolutely. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, I, I feel that this maybe should come up with left click and Q instead of just these symbols. That just doesn't make sense to me, but whatever. Uh, something is scratched onto the surface of this x-ray. Hang on. So it is. Yeah, six, two, four. So I guess we need to find the other half for the other three digits for this for this key code, don't we? All right. Is that... Oh, it's a map, I think. Fantastic. Yep, it's a map of the hospital, and I'm going to take it. So there we go. Fantastic. Let's see. So zoom. Oh, we get it full screen, and we can really go into detail with it. That's quite nice. Yeah. I think I might need to change the key binding or, some, or something. Uh... Escape seems to be the only way to cancel. I don't know if I like that button being cancelled. But there we are. There we are. Okay. So, through this way. Fair enough. Okay. Just keep your eye out for an x-ray. Or a half of an x-ray, anyway. Let's just try all the doors we can. Bloody hell. I have to say, at the very least, it does have the look of a Silent Hill game. Um, it does look quite aesthetically pleasing. Unfortunately, it is capped at 30 FPS. What is that? Oh, hang on. It's a child's doll. It appears to be burned. I wonder how it got here. Well, if what my mummy and daddy says is true, it's a stork, isn't it? Uh, okay, I've got a health drink. So... Right, so that's where the, the first aid items are kept on the right. Don't want to use it quite yet, because I haven't actually been hit yet. But I'm sure that's going to change before the game's over. And flashlight and radio, which we've already got, which is pretty nice, I suppose. Right, okay. Can we, aha, uh -huh, yep, yeah, we can hop over. Fantastic. Oh, here we go. This is it, isn't it? Yep, uh, take the x-ray film. I guess I need to put it on the, the actual x-ray screen to, to see what the numbers are. Let's see. Can we actually use the door, or do we have to hop over again? Alright, we're going to have to hop over again. Fair enough. I can do that. Yeah, you know, so far, so good. There's a few little things that kind of niggle me, but yeah. It's alright. It's okay. Um, alright, I guess we're going back on ourselves then. Whoa, whoa. Alright. That was pretty neat. Actually gave me a bit of a, a bit of a jump. Okay, so back into this area, and Q for the inventory, right, there it is, and that's how that works, okay. Right, 62487, hang on, 624872, there you go, it's written across the x-ray film. Uh, is that added to the, the journal or something? Don't I have, hang on, where was it, objectives and stuff? Escape from the hospital, okay, so I'm going to have to remember this myself, I'll write it down, that's, uh, that's fine though. Seeing as it's just there. 624872. Okay. Alex. <laughs> Here we go. 
Oh. <laughs> clear it, clear it. Two, four, eight, seven, two. There you go. Green is good. And the door is unlocked. Josh, where are you going? Why don't you follow him and find out? Just a thought. Right, okay. Uh, did he leave something on the floor for me? Yes, he did. Yeah, I remember the, the beginning of this quite well. Got a child's drawing. Three little pigs, I guess. Alright. Okay, let's take another look at the map. So, where did he go? So, I'm here. He went into the, to the men's, I think. Alright. I'll catch up with him. <laughs> I'll catch up with him sooner rather than later, probably. Let's just try all these doors. <laughs> probably only going to be one that works, yeah. It's going to be this one, isn't it? There you go. Josh, stop! I think that symbol that he ran past, that might be the, uh, might be the save point. I don't think we use notepads or anything like this. Oh, bloody hell. Ooh. I think I might use this one instead. Hmm. Actually, is there anything in there? Like a key? Something like that? Uh, he's dead. It's hard to tell what happened to him, but I don't want to stick around to find out. I can understand that. And he's long gone. Right, so... Yeah, this is a save point. I guess I might as well. I'm going to continue playing, but... Why not? Have I still got my saved game from... Okay. <laughs> I was wondering if I've still got that saved game from, like, eight years ago. Um, apparently not. Okay, let's continue to try and find Josh, who I believe is my brother. Right. Um, okay. Ooh, that looks like it could be a weapon. That might be why we got the save point, honestly. Let's just check the cubicles. No one's hiding in there, okay? Okay, that's always good. Let's take this. I got a combat knife. That's a pretty nice effect. I swear, the clothing just keeps getting tighter and tighter. All right. There we go. Couple slashes and dodge. Yeah, okay, sure. I think... Right, yeah, we can, we can do, like, combos and stuff. There's, a, there's strong attacks and there's sort of weaker attacks, the faster attacks. I think it was, like... Okay, it is left shift. It didn't work right at the beginning because... Well, I guess that's because I didn't have a weapon, but now I've got a knife. I can sort of have a bit of practice. Sort of nice uppercut with the knife, and... There you go, yeah, that's the strong attack. You can hold it down pretty much as long as you want, and I guess the longer you hold it down, the stronger it is, the more damage it does. Uh, and that gets us out of combat mode. Great. I didn't give her a stamp of approval? Oh, okay. Oh, looks like the lock's broken. I can't open it, okay. Oh, do we smash the mirror? Climb through? No. Ah, I see. Squeeze through. Absolutely, yeah. This wasn't here before, but, uh, you know, we're in the other world now. Things aren't always as they seem. Speaking of which, do we have a map for this still? I mean, okay, it hasn't changed all that much. There's storage behind us. I guess I kind of want to check that out, if possible. Okay, that's not going to work. What about if I sort of go back into the, uh, into the room I was just in? Is that possible? No, it is not. Just wanted to make sure. Right. Oh, is that? That's the first aid kit, isn't it? Okay, the first of many. I'll do my best not to get hit. See if I can save them for the uh, the boss fights. Because I'm sure there are boss fights. I think I've seen screenshots with boss fights. Never actually got so far as to, uh, to <laughs> play one, but there you go. Alright. Okay, we can go through there. That's a good sign. Not through there. What about through these double doors? Not happening, I'm afraid. We can't unlock this from the other side. It seems not. No, the lock is still broken. We've got to go this way. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. Was that him? I think that's him. Okay, well, uh, 
I'm sure he's going to wait up there. I think there's something over here. Yeah, okay. The doctors say that I'm unable to discern fantasy from reality, but I think I know what's going on around here. I saw those demons murder the other patients. I want to escape from this cursed place, but I don't dare venture into the light. It seems that they're attracted to light. That's why people who need light to see are their natural prey. They also react strongly to sound. If you want to go on living, you're better off just sitting in the dark and staying quiet. But even that probably won't save you. Great. Very comforting. Oh well. Now that I've got my combat knife, I should be okay. I'm hoping to find, I don't know, something a bit more substantial, like a pistol or a rocket launcher. And there's another nurse. Ah, here we go. I knew I wasn't barking up the wrong tree when I suggested trying to, like, smash the mirror. I knew we had to do that at some point. And it's because this door doesn't work. The lock is broken again. All right, we're going in. Okay. Oh, there's, oh, there's fucking two of them. Right, okay, so let's see. Charge up. Ooh, knock them down. Knock them down. That's good. And they get up again. Okay. The three slash and, and dodge mechanic seems to be the, the one that's working for me right now. Uh, lock on's a bit of a mess, it seems. Oh, all right, the double slash. Did I... Did our knives hit each other then? I mean, I kind of wanted that to happen again. I think I sort of deflected that. Is that a thing? Is there some sort of block button? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> uh, hasn't really been a tutorial yet, has there, really? Uh, anyway, let's see how the health drink situation thing works. Simple as that. Okay. Alright. Uh, put your knife away, mate. You should be okay. There we go. Whoa, what the hell happened to you? He's dead. It's a he? Yeah, just about, I suppose. Um, Alright, what's on television? Not much, apparently. Oh, hang on. The TV isn't plugged in. How is this possible? <laughs> That's the bit you've got a problem with? <laughs> Let's think there's bigger fish to fry, mate. Oh. Alright. Fair enough. Quick time events. I can do that. Yeah, you know what? I'm remembering some bad things about this game, but actually playing it, it seems to be okay so far. Nothing too offensive, really. What's that down here? She's not here. She's not here. She's not here. She's not here, and so on and so forth. All right. Uh, I'm not going to save quite yet. I seem to remember this hospital section not lasting too long, so I kind of want to get through that in the first video, if possible. What the hell was that? Hmm. Okay, let's try this door instead. Alright, that's not working. Let's take another quick look at the map. What can we do here? Where, where are we going? Okay, so... We're sort of heading to the linen room, and uh, yeah, okay, okay. Is it the bugs I can hear? I, oh. Flying leeches or something. Okay. <laughs> Stamp. Just keep stamping. Fuck it, hell. Oh, Jesus Christ. Get off. Throw it to the floor. There you go. Right. Yeah. I I'm just thinking, this is actually, I think, the first Silent Hill game that was created after the 2006 film. So I'm wondering if that's why we're seeing bugs like that. And maybe that's why we're seeing Pyramid Head, because they were sort of big events in the film. I don't know how... I don't know if they wanted to tie in with the film or something, or just have lots of references to it, but... That might explain a few things. Anyway. That door is not going to work. What about this one? It's fine. Okay. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Oh, brilliant. Another health drink. Yep. I'm going to need that one. Anything over here? No. I assume we can go through. Yes, we can. Definitely seem to be having more luck with the doors when I shoulder barge them instead of try the handles, you know? 
Can I not use this one, or...? Oh, I guess I just have to pick a side. Yeah, there you go. Try and shoulder barge it, you'll get through. Ah. Okay. So where's this? The operating theatre? Sure. Sure. The viewing area, I see. Hang on. Ah, there is something over here. Right, I have to pay very close attention to the way his head's facing, I think, really. It's a medical report, a patient's chart. Electroshock, Dr. Copen. Okay. Um, yeah. Sure. Every weekday, he gave electroshock therapy to someone. Treatment has yet to achieve desired results. Patient is non-responsive. Please administer pureed foods only. Alright. Down here we go then. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, hang on. Nurses? Right, uh... Alright. I think I'm ready. So we're dealing with two again, are we? No, three. Ah, oh, no. Right. Yeah, the, the lock-on, it seems to keep like the lock-on for a, a, a long period of time. Oh dear, oh dear. Ah, she got me the second one. Okay, yep, 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 yep. Let's just move away. I think I'm getting the knack of this. Definitely need to time my uh, my strong attacks a little better, though. I always think they're going to charge me like that when they don't. Ooh, that was pretty nice. But yeah, I guess stamping is just not a thing anymore. That's a bit of a shame. Oh well. Uh, yeah. Maybe that's why you have to feed him pureed foods only. He definitely can't chew when he doesn't have a skull. Right, okay. Uh, I can't get through here, the door is chained shut, so I guess we're looking for a key, or maybe bolt cutters, something like that. Right through here. There you go. Alright. Squeeze through. <laughs> I keep thinking something bad is going to happen, like those teeth are going to start chewing me as I walk through, but not yet. What's this? Another child's drawing, okay. How much time has he got on his hands to run away from me and, like, put his drawings on the walls as he's doing it? Okay, is that, is that the other half? Oh, maybe this is this Dr. Copen. Uh, anyway, yeah, it's the other half of the body from downstairs. I wonder who put him here. His hand is holding a key of some sort, so, uh, yeah, I'll take it. That's the operating theater key, and that's going to help us get through that padlock, I'm sure. Okay, cool. So we're not going to bolt over this, we can't go around to the other side. That's, uh, that's fine, that's fine. Once again, squeeze through, and, um... Q, isn't it? Yeah. Is there any way for, for the actual keys to come up instead of that symbol? That would be bloody beautiful right now, especially since I'm quite new to the game. Or rediscovering it again, you know? Alright. Perfect. The door is unlocked. So, uh, let's go through. Oh no, wait, we have to... <laughs> we have to pick a side again. Can't go through two at the same time. Oh, no, no, no. Alright. Oh, what's this? Ah, I thought there might have been another drawing or something, to be honest. Hang on, we do have something here. Uh, setting the electroshock machine beyond the seizure threshold has yielded impressive results in the patients. The most violent and depressed patients are rendered completely docile. The only side effects have been minor. Memory loss, some dislocated bones, one fractured leg, and a patient bit off his tongue. <laughs> Doesn't really sound minor to me. Uh, this accident was quite a nice side effect, as this particular patient was also one of our noisiest. I've instructed the doctors to continue with this intensity level for all treatments. If anything, he's going to be more noisy. He just won't be able to articulate why he's noisy. Unless, of course... Ah, yeah. That's probably who was scheduled in for electroshock every Joshua, single day. Is that you? Busy. Go away. What are you doing here? I want my toy. 
Which one should I choose if I want to teach him how to say please? Are you afraid? Aren't you afraid of being here alone? I'm a brave soldier. No, I think that's I'm me. I'm looking for Robbie. Okay. Well, um, <laughs> I don't think I can help you, but I do want to help you. Is there anything I can do? Find Robbie. I want my toy. I haven't seen any toys around here. Guess you're not my friend. Okay. I'll go see if I can find him. Alright. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll get right on that. Okay, so there's no keypad on this door. It's just jammed. God knows how he got around there. Well, let's see, actually. Maybe I can have a look. Maybe he went through... I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, oh. Okay, I guess we have to go through the nurse's center then. This way. That's it. Uh, another place to save. I'll pick this up. And I think I will save, just in case. Alright, hang on. Is something down there? Yes, there is! Okay, fantastic. It's another missing patient bulletin. Uh, room 205. Wait, wait. Isn't this exactly what we saw before? I guess this is the same place, isn't it? Yeah, that's it. That's it. Okay, fair enough. Alright, well, uh, retreading old ground. Looking for a toy. Okay, so I guess in one of these four rooms we might find it? Let's see. Not in 201. I do not like the sound of that. <laughs> this one? Okay. Ah! Sorry, but I don't think I can get your toy back. This is where we saw the, uh, the doll, wasn't it? What is that sound? Yeah, right, um... I suppose I'm gonna have to reach in, aren't I? <laughs> yeah, reach inside. What is Silent Hill's obsession with either going in or reaching inside holes? Seriously. We do it in almost every game. What a damn surprise. Jesus Christ. Still got your fingers? Bloody hell. <laughs> He's changed a bit. But uh, it's it's still the Robbie toy. So, uh, yeah. Oh, hang on. Hang on. What's going on? It's another one of these bloody bugs, isn't it? The static's kind of giving it away. Let's just get out of here. Can we do that? Yes, yeah, get away. Oh, Jesus Christ, he followed me out. <laughs> Slam him onto the ground. Stamp him. There you go. There you go. All right. Um, let's be thorough. Let's try this one. Okay, no luck. No need, though, because I do have the toy. So, uh, here we go. Oh, through here, isn't it? There you go. Q. Yeah, I'm getting the hang of this now. Robbie. Yeah, you might want to clean it before you give it back to him. Here. I want Robbie. Isn't that Robbie? Coincidence. It just so happens to become unjammed and swing open. When I mean, it doesn't matter. Alright, what have we got here? Is that Robbie? Maybe. Okay. Um, I've got quite a few child's drawings. I'm noticing they're not actually appearing in the inventory, so. I don't know where they're going, really. Oh, that one's jammed. <clears throat> oh, that one's jammed with an operating theatre light. What about this one? Okay. Can't use that one. Oh, bloody hell. 
I'm thinking that actually might be um, a giant knife getting dragged along the floor. What was that? I think I hear the faint sound of water lapping on the shore. The source seems to be coming from just beyond this door. But that's impossible. This is a hospital. Uh, I don't know, man. I just don't know. Right, here we go. Uh, try the button, I suppose. Yeah, there we go. Push the button. Now, which floor did he get off at? Well, let's hope it's that one there. When even the subtitles describe it, you know, something's about to happen. Oh, wow. <laughs> Bad dream. Yes, dodge button. <laughs> There's a couple of words I didn't think would ever be in a Silent Hill game. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, if you double click, you can sort of go through them. Uh, hang on. <laughs> What's going on? All right, I guess we're going back on ourselves then. Whoa, whoa. All right. That was pretty neat. Josh, where are you going? Why don't you follow him and find out? Just a thought. The TV isn't plugged in. How is this possible? <laughs> That's the bit you've got a problem with? <laughs> yeah, reach inside. What is Silent Hill's obsession with either going in or reaching inside holes? Seriously. What a damn surprise. When even the subtitles describe it, you know, something's about to happen. Oh, wow. <laughs> 